Hi, this is Daniel at PCC. In this video, we're going to go through the workflow for reviewing, ordering, and administering immunizations in PCC EHR. As our example today, we're using Christopher Davis. Each patient's immunization history can be found in two places, the patient history and as a component within a visit. I'll begin here in the patient history. Immunization history includes a date for each administered immunization. If your immunizations are properly configured, these dates will automatically appear on the appropriate line when they are administered. Historical immunizations, or those given elsewhere, a flu shot given outside of your office, for example, can be added manually by clicking Add IMS. Let's add a flu shot for Chris. I'll select a flu shot and enter a date. When I add an immunization, another blank line appears, so if I need to, I can add several all at once. The date I entered now appears in the appropriate spot in the immunization history. If you notice dates appearing on the wrong line, make a note of the immunization and date and contact your PCC client advocate. If the patient has been diagnosed with a vaccine-preventable disease or one has been added to the problem list, it will appear here to indicate that they may be immune without a vaccine appearing above. Forecasting, below the history, compares each patient's immunization history to the Immucast immunization schedule and shows a range of dates for each, depending on the patient's details, and highlights due and past due immunizations. This information is intended as a guideline or reference. The ultimate decision on when a vaccine should be given is up to you and your patients, but you may find it a helpful resource. Forecasting warnings appear below. These are alerts about late or duplicated vaccinations, doses given too late or early to be part of a series, and other useful warnings about this patient's history. The immunization history, diseases, and forecasting are also available as components within most visit protocols so that you can review the history and forecast and determine which immunization should be given during a visit. In the visit, Immunization orders appear below forecasting. If you administer specific vaccines during specific visit types, you can use the protocol configuration tool to add appropriate vaccines for each visit type. Then you can order them with a single click. I can click order on one of those immunizations, or I can search or select any immunization in the blank field below. After clicking order, click edit to fill out the details of the vaccine itself or adjust the order. If I'm administering this vaccine myself, I can complete the order here by filling out the lot number, dose, and other information and mark it as completed. Or I can assign this task to another user. I assigned my most recent immunization to Harriet Hudson, so PCC EHR has remembered and pre-selected her. Since I'm assigning this to someone else, my work here is done. But let's take a look at that next step from Harriet's point of view. In the visit task list, I'm already looking at a filtered view for Harriet. So there's one task. It's Christopher's immunization. Harriet can open this chart from here or by double clicking, open the task and handle it right from the queue. I can select the VFC status, enter a dose, select a lot, and if this is a new lot that hasn't been added yet, I can open the lot manager directly from here and add it on the fly. If you're set up for barcode scanning, you can click the scan button here and scan the barcode to enter in the lot details. Once Harriet has administered the vaccine, she can select the administered option and enter the route and site of the vaccination. If not, she can indicate why it wasn't given, refused, contraindicated, or canceled. Once the immunization has been given, it will appear on the patient's immunization history above. That's it. Christopher has been vaccinated. For more information on billing, managing vaccine lots, managing your immunization lists or registries, contact PCC support or visit learn.pcc.com. Thanks for watching.